Weekdays with Bernie, uh, election edition tonight. Writing in the Washington Post, Uber liberal columnist Dana Milbank said that Fox News was cheerleading the GOP last night. Quote, Republican leaders held a results watch at Grand Hyatt in Wildtown, Washington. For a true victory party, you had to go to Fox News to be fair and balanced. Fox brought in a nominal Democrat, pollster Doug Schoen. While Mr. Milbank is entitled to his opinion, he misled his readers. Fox News Channel had the following Democrats on the air last night. Geraldine Ferraro, Bob Beckel, Joe Trippi, Juan Williams, Kirsten Powers, Pat Cadell, as was shown. Joining us now from Miami, the purveyor of BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. So should Milbank be fired? I mean, we, went, we asked his editor, Fred Hyatt. Put Hyatt's picture up there. I know everyone wants to see Bernie's tie, but okay, look, look at this guy. We said to him, your columnist, Milbank, lied in his column, okay? What is your responsibility, Fred, to make sure that doesn't happen or order him to write a retraction? Here's Fred. No responsibility. We don't have a problem with it. If you want to write a letter, we'd be happy to consider it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, Look, how corrupt does it have to get? How corrupt does it have to get for what? They're never going to change. Listen, let's, let's make sure everybody understands right off the top that Dana Milbank wrote the piece for only one reason, to take a shot at Fox. He, like so many other journalists, have foxophobia. They have an irrational fear of Fox News. It's, he's an important columnist for a very important newspaper. And the day after one of the biggest elections in, 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 in a generation, he decides to write about Fox News's coverage of the event instead of the implications of the election. Now, what, what does his, his editor do when, it, when you point out that, wait a second, there were lots and lots of Liberals right, not. right. That he, they, he flat they, out they lied do about what they it always do. They circle the wagons as they always do. And what I don't think Mr. Hyatt understands, and what I'm sure Dana Milbank doesn't care about, is that it's this arrogance, Bill. It's it's because of this arrogance that so many people have lost faith with the so-called mainstream media. Well, look, um, I, I just, you and I have been in this business a long time, and I've just seen the corruption <laughs> creep and creep and creep, and now it's just flat out. You can lie in your column. Go ahead, lie. And, and when it gets to that point, what good is the newspaper? Now, well, you know, the editor, technically the editor said, he never said, he, he, you have to read the whole piece to understand this, but the editor said, he never said there was only one. Listen, I read that piece 22 times. Any reasonable person Anybody would come would away with the idea there was that one. there was only one right. Democrat on. Right. And that's just not true. Right. All right, now you, uh, we gave Bernie the assignment to watch the others, and, and uh, I'm not bragging here, but the Fox News Channel won huge last night in the ratings. We, we beat CNN and MSNBC combined, um, just blew them away. I didn't watch any of their coverage because I was working here. What did you find out? Well, I thought Fox and CNN uh, did a professional job, and, and they covered it the same, broadly speaking, the same way. They had real journalists uh, anchoring the news, and then they had commentators from the left and from the right giving their opinions about the news. That's the way you do it. MSNBC, on the, on the other hand, jumped the shark last night. They broke the cardinal rule uh, of journalism. You don't have partisans covering hard news events, and certainly not when the hard news event is the biggest news story of the year, a national election. You just don't do that. And yet they had five liberal commentators on in the studio all night having some fun at Republican expense making fun and this and that I thought I was watching the view without Elizabeth Hasselbeck and and as bad as they were the real villains are the executives who make at NBC who make no pretense anymore I mean there are just no pretense anymore that MSNBC is a serious honest news organization because when when you take a, a national election and have five liberal commentators being snarky all night with, with their comments and giggling like schoolgirls half the time, 
the shark has been jumped. It's over. Well, you know, Comcast takes over soon. I think they're going to change that whole thing over there, as we hear anyway. Um, I hope so. The, and it didn't, it didn't have to be that way. They could have brought in Scarborough. Joe Scarborough is a Republican. He works in the morning over there. They could have brought him in. And they could have brought in a couple of other people from the NBC network you know, to, to anchor their coverage, as you pointed out. And why do you, and, and why do you think that didn't happen? It didn't because happen Tom for Brokaw two reasons. and David Gregory and serious journalists don't want to be near Maybe, those guys. I don't know that for sure night. because they do lend their name to that organization sometimes. I don't know that for sure. But they had NBC News coverage on NBC. So they, right. I think they rightly figured they were going to get slaughtered because they get slaughtered every day of the year over there. They never win. They always do poorly. And they just said, well, why waste the time and money? We'll put these guys on. The far left people will watch. That's who watches anyway. We're not going to get anybody else. So it's basically putting up the white flag and surrendering. Okay. I mean, but I'm, but I'm saying uh, on a big news story, you don't have partisan commentators anchoring the coverage. No, I mean, you just don't do that. that. Everybody knows that. Well, you know, we well had, everybody but the president of NBC News doesn't, doesn't know care. that. He doesn't care. He's like the guy Hyatt at the Washington Post. They don't care. Hey, listen, I hear the music. I got I to gotta take yeah. a shot at you very briefly. Last night you said, and I, and I wrote it down, you said that no one is lower than Alan Grayson except for criminals. That's unfair, Bill. To the criminals. I knew it. To the criminals. That's I, I knew it, Goldberg. You saw that. Yeah, I know. All right. <laughs> when we